the lion is the true king of the land, but it, too, can be killed by hyenas. The eagle can be considered the king of the air, but at night it's absolutely defenseless against owls. And if we talk about the underwater world, it seems that orcas simply have no equal here. But this is not entirely true. Today you will learn why orcas need a whale's tongue, why they use other animals to play, how they storm the shores, and who has a chance to kill the king of the oceans after all. Let's go. I don't think I need to explain what orcas are. They are huge, black and white, predatory, and just devilishly smart. No kidding. To understand how powerful orcas are, as hunters, it's enough to say that they have a thoughtful plan for each hunt. Depending on what exactly is the future dinner, orcas, and they almost always hunt in groups, choose a certain strategy. For example, they need to disorient a shark to eat it. For a school of small fish something like a carousel of air bubbles will do. And when it comes to whales, it's better to see with your own eyes. The attack follows a brutal, but working scheme. Orcas take turns ramming, biting and pulling the whale by the pectoral fins and, as a rule, exhausting their prey. Even despite the size difference, one gets tired of such a thing. Imagine being bitten by several medium-sized dogs at the same time. And then they also try to drown you. Yes, orcas block the whale's breathing hole, and after a chase that can last for hours, the exhausted giant drowns. Whales, of course, come in all sorts of ways, too. Some of them, especially the young ones, aren't much bigger than orcas themselves. But what about the blue whale? It is said to be the largest creature that has ever existed on our planet. It weighs over 190 tons. That's what we're going to eat, orcas must have thought. And they rammed it. And now think about it, several orcas, which are actually just toothed dolphins, turned a blue whale to flight. Even a giant like that prefers not to mess with them. But the most common prey of killer whales are baby whales. It's so common that whales even protect the offspring of other species if they can. For example, humpbacks were once seen guarding a small gray whale, and it was already dead. They simply didn't allow the killer whale to finish what they happens with the prey, because orcas are such gourmand humpback whales calves are one of their favorite dishes, and orcas often eat only their tongues, and leave the rest of carcass for scavengers. Why? Well, apparently, it's very tasty. By the way, the same thing happens with sharks. Orcas heat only their liver, because it contains useful substances. In short, sharks are kind of like vitamins. And you know, here I am talking about how orcas prey on different types of marine animals. Can't anyone stand up to them? Just so long as it doesn't come down to the sperm whale. Orcas hunt females and calves of this species, but try to stay away from the males. The heavy and powerful tail of the sperm whale has the potential to deliver fatal blows. The exact force of such blows is unknown, but an adult sperm whale weighs about 90 tons. That's about 10 times the size of a classic Routermaster double-decker bus. Orcas wouldn't stand a chance, if the sperm whale were a little more aggressive. And smarter most whales are huge, but they're really not that intelligent. Apparently, all that they have are their tails. What if that same sperm whale was as smart as a human? Hey, you, yep, on the other side of the screen. What would you do if you were a sperm whale suddenly attacked by an orca? Surely you would turn around faster and hit it with a tail. Or maybe you could use your teeth. Each of them weighs 2.2 pounds, it would be nice to start using them. Another predator that can fight orcas back is the great white shark. You know, the creepy one, with the killer eye. Orcas are considered the only natural enemies of great white sharks, and if the shark manages to bite first, the rows of razor sharp teeth can pierce even the thickest skin. I think it's the species that can win this fight if it attacks first. If not, a special hunting strategy will come into play, as I've already mentioned. The killer whale pushes the shark to the surface with its broad tail, then stuns it. And then the killer whale, as if having some knowledge of shark biology, flips the prey, disorients and paralyzes it. Bon petit. So who can beat an orca anyway? I thought of stingrays, but they were just part of the menu.